officer sitting here I had to ask him for directions and then I started telling my girls the story of how they had the paddy wagons and all the police right here and uh, Pete Torres and myself were the first two taken out and they just dragged us out we passively resisted and they put us in the paddy wagons and it brings back a lot of memories that was a really painful time that was a very painful time in my life how old were you I was 15 once they start realizing who's doing this to them, you know, they'll, they'll revolt. And the thing is that they have realized who's doing this to them. Uh, now, I'm not talking about Beauport in particular, now I'm talking about, you know, you know, black people in general are beginning to realize who's doing it to them. And then they look up and they look at the person who's doing it, at, and then they see a white person doing it. Mm -hmm. They see a white foot. I've dreamt about being back here. Oh, I yeah. have not been back to Belfort High School since I graduated. This is the first time I'm back since I graduated. So obvious, you know, like you walk into school and like you hear eight black students were suspended. I mean, what, what is anybody going to think? You know, All right, what do you think? I mean, I think it's a really dumb move. You think That's it was what I rigged? think. I mean, I think it's. You think it's it was rigged? Like, that would have been rigged. You think no, it was legal? Because they were all black. Well, I don't know if it was legal or not. There, they were weren't all black kids who were involved. It all started. We wanted, you know, a black history. We wanted black history in the school. We. I remember one of the the sit-in was kind of really got it all started. It was because it was. Um, we wanted to put up pic pictures of uh, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, and they told us that we couldn't put them on the wall. And they especially objected to Malcolm X. And um, they made us take it off. And that, you know, sparked our sit-in. I thought they could post us up, like uh, the white people, in retaliation to what the colored people did. I thought the white people could post us up. I don't know. I, what did they? Yeah, like the uh, white is beautiful, and, you know. Of course, all those incidents that happened in school about those posts and everything, it wasn't the posters. It's what, what they were saying, what they were going to do. Before the actual demonstration took place, the actual sit-in, because it yes. was a sit-in, yes. we all walked out of our classrooms and went into the cafeteria, and there was and it was a multiracial group. It was whites, blacks, and um, and, and and Puerto Ricans. The minorities were Puerto Ricans. I mean, the minority in the group. And I remember distinctly saying that this was a black, Puerto Rican, and white thing, and anybody who can't take that should leave right now. And nobody left. Everybody stood there. And from there, we went to the principal's office and demanded to talk to the principal. And the principal, I don't remember the principal's name at the time. Um, he refused. He Feeney. refused to come. Feeney, Feeney. right. He refused to come out. He won't yeah. come out. So we sat down. And we said, we're not going to leave until you come out and tell us why you hit us with these disciplinary rules the day after we gave you our demands. And, uh, Two, all students and faculty from Black and Puerto Rican students, subject Black and Puerto Rican student demands, date October 3rd, 1969. <clears throat> we the Black and Puerto Rican students demand the following. One, a Black, and, a Black and Puerto Rican history and culture course. A, a corrected history, history course instituted by 1970. B, an elective course to replace the present minorities course instituted this year. C, that, the, that committee chosen by the board and the students work on the problem and we had fighting, we had rioting. If they were rioting across America, naturally in Belport High School they would riot. They stopped at the door, came in, and I remember them saying, take them, and he pointed at me. <laughs> and they lifted me up, and they took me, and they threw me in a paddy wagon. I was in Did you see the anything? auditorium when, the, when they were in the well, be 128, right? And then they moved to yeah. the cafeteria, because you had a class Right, there. and you came to my class. Well, that wasn't, this was before your okay. class. Did and you then they went any? to the cafeteria, and then they, they were the black kids in the cafeteria, so they went to the auditorium. And I was in there talking to one of the kids because I had to find out information. I was not part of this. I'm just, no, I know. understand. But if and you Jimmy, there were no teachers in there. This hearsay, or did you hear I it? was there. I Good. heard it. Okay. It might not have been these exact words, okay. but he said, um, what do we want? Everybody goes, white power, 
Let's hear it again, my power, hear it again, my power. And everybody goes, yay! And then Zimmy says, it's easy for us to be tough today, but we gotta be tough tomorrow. Uh, and then they realized that they overpacked the paddy wagon. Uh, so they started taking people out, and the people that were taking out were the whites that they had put in. So they, they took out the whites, and then the scuffle began when, when one of the cops grabbed a, 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 a black woman, she was a woman at the time, she was no little girl, and, and, and grabbed her by her breast and, and, and brung her down. And that's when the scuffle broke out. That's when the, and, uh, we tried to get out of the paddy wagon, they slammed the door shut, and then we were looking through these little holes, and the people were fighting it out on this, uh, in, in front of the school. And then after we got arrested, um, we got put in the pad. Then the kids started really fighting, and the, the police clubbed. They were clubbing kids. I remember one girl laid down in front of the paddy wagon, and they just like forcibly moved her and arrested her. Um, it was just chaos and commotion. I was kind of upset at the time because it, uh, you know, it, it lost its really true meaning, and it started, and it really became just racially divided and um you know and and like the violence that we had in the school and the, the fighting and that really i can remember just walking through the hallways crying because that wasn't what i wanted you know and and i believed in you know nonviolent uh intervention and we you know like to sit in and and just to to see the rage explode into the school that wasn't what i wanted and that that really upset me i can remember that it's been you know a long time ago Lady and Stephen, come on in. Join the party. Totally come in. All in, all in, free. Yeah, but all in, free, free. There came a time when students began to organize, and we gave ourselves a name, and we got together, and we said, "What is it we want our school to be?" All right. What What does this committee consist of, and who are you, and what are your purposes? Uh, kids. <laughs> All right. That's the name of it? No. Kids. Do you have a name? Better yeah. Better relations. Better relations Committee for Constructive Action. In regards to what? In regards to the community. Could I get your name right here that I have on camera? Okay. <laughs> Next person. All right. And the young lady? No. Yes. <laughs> Pardon? I can't hear your name. Oh, very good. <laughs> Andrew Casoy. Andrew? And the young lady behind you? Who? Rowena Fraser. Rowena? <laughs> Who is this young lady? I mean... <laughs> what were some of the rumors that were going on? Like in our neighborhood, we have had um, carloads of whites come around, you know, um, Is that a rumor or is that... No, this is true. This is actual facts. And they have came around, you know, um, attacking, like, a black by himself, you know. <laughs> on the street? Right away. Yeah. yeah. Sounds walking on the street. Right. But I believe this, this has actually happened to a black? This has actually yeah. happened. <laughs> <laughs> about this is that um, it was the first time I'd ever seen, you know, video equipment. 